Hello, I'm Kurt Hantworker with Keller Williams Preferred, your host on American Dream Television, Selling Tulsa. We've got a great show for you this month. We are here at Cabin Boys Brewery. We're going to meet Austin, the owner and manager of Cabin Boys. Then we've got a special guest star for you, somebody that you'll probably recognize from the local news. Come on inside. Let's go see what Austin has to show us. Hey, Austin, how you doing, sir? I'm doing very well. How Good are you doing? You. Good to see you. Good to see you, too. This is Austin McElroy, the master brewer and owner of Cabin Boys Brewery. Austin, you were telling me that uh, you got something special coming up next month? Yeah, we're going to turn six years old as a That's company. That's incredible. I remember walking in yeah. here for the first time. Well, how about we yeah. get a tour of the brewery? Yeah, you want a tour? Yeah, absolutely. Come on. Let's yeah. do it. Look at this, this is incredible. I understand that you kind of started out like I did, in kind of humble beginnings and have grown up in the industry. That's true, yeah. So I also did start in a humble beginning where, you know, the turkey fryer yep. with, the, with the pot in the garage kind of a deal. Yep. I know what you're talking uh, about. So, I understand that you went to a major academy in Europe to learn yeah. how to do this. So uh, I got accepted into the World Brewing Academy. Okay. And so after, you know, seven months of school, they deemed us uh, master brewers and gave us a certification, and I'm one of two in the state. Tell us a little bit about what, what the microbrewing industry is doing for Tulsa. Man, it's doing a whole bunch of different things for Tulsa. Not only is it in increasing, you know, an influx of cash and money and all sorts of things on that side, but really why the craft beer industry boomed like it did is because people were really hungry for a place to go that they felt accepted in their own culture, in their own community. And here at Cabin Boys Brewery, we understood and got to learn from the German society and brought that over, which is why our slogan is crafted for a community. Well, Austin, thank you so much for taking us around and showing us and telling us your story. Absolutely. I'm a little thirsty now. Yeah, my throat's a little scratchy from yeah. all that talking. You want to go get a beer? I think we should go get a beer. All right. Come on inside with us. We're going to get a beer. We're also going to meet our next guest, Charles Ely. I'm here with Charles Ely. Everybody remembers Charles from the news here in Tulsa. I mean, you were on for a lot of years. 39 years. 39 years, wow. Uh, Charles retired and decided to become a real estate investor. Charles, tell us, why real estate investing after you got out of the news? I always tinkered with it when I was working because I worked most of the time as a newscaster, you worked the night shift. So I had time during the day and also tended to buy houses that need a little bit of work. So over time, I would basically do slow motion flips. Okay. And I did three or four of those here in Tulsa before retiring. What do you think is important for somebody looking to make that shift from one career into a real estate investing career or a retired real estate well, investing career. If you're gonna do the flipping, is to have some basic skills. It's not rocket science. I, I consider myself to be an advanced intermediate do-it-yourselfer. Okay. I'm not a craftsman, but you can hang a light fixture, you can hang blinds, you can paint, you can trim carpentry is nothing but care and patience. Right. And so having some skill and, and being willing to get your hands dirty because you will get your hands dirty. Right. And then the other thing is is to kind of plan the financing out ahead of time. Charles, thank you so much for being here, sharing your experience with us. I really appreciate it. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Thanks for taking care of us on our deals. Always. Hey, I'm Kurt with Keller Williams, your host of American Dream Television, Selling Tulsa, and we'll see you next month.